All right, we're back, folks, for day four of Challenge 40 with the robots. My goodness, we are uh, above 400 boards for sure because we played a couple of random challenges that we didn't even number. So we are deep, deep into this experiment with the robots, and we are going to make our, our most normal bid that the robot will recognize uh, with this hand. I'm going to stretch and open one no trump. I'm upgrading this. I have 14 points and a five-card suit. I will do this all day every day forever it's just i will always open this a no trump i know it's aces and spaces and things and you guys are uncomfortable this is just the way the bridge is right nowadays a good 14 is one no trump and not partner transfers to our five card major we like that we don't super accept here folks because our values aren't quite there right we already stretched to open this hand so here we're just going to kind of support spades and boom there we go we're going to play four spades Right, so partner's three club bid was game forcing and natural. That's why we only bid three spades. I didn't mean to, to uh, gloss over that, folks. When we see a transfer and then we see a bid right after it, that's just, hey, partner, I'm making a game forcing bid and it's natural. And I'm just trying to suss out whether we have a, a fit in that major I transferred you into. When we have hands like this that uh, aren't total, I mean, I don't treat this as a total minimum because I have a 10 card fit. We just go slowly, right? If we had a terrible uh, like minimum and a flat hand, we might bid four spades in this spot. That's all. All right, let's jump in and see this play here. Okay. Uh, the heart lead's not quite giving us an extra trick unless uh, our right-hand opponent's going to play a, uh, a card uh, to our right. We have a whole bunch of uh, spades, so we're not going to be worried about that. This hand is really going to kind of come down to what happens in clubs and if we can kind of engineer a pitch of a heart in, in one of our hands. So here, let's get this party started. We're going to win the ace of hearts. I'm going to play a spade to the king. Ooh, we're getting the worst break possible here. Left-hand opponent started with zero spades. That's a good piece of information to have. And now we're just going to play another spade. And here we go, folks. We're going to try out this club suit. All right, we're going to play a low club. We would love to see the queen. We're not going to take a finesse. We're going to try something slightly different. We're going to rough a club, right? And if we see the queen, we won't right now we just have to rough both clubs and we're just going to lose two red cards right so here uh we were hoping to see the queen of clubs there and and roughing it out is the safest way to do it notice we could have finessed and gotten rid of a heart but now we're possibly compressing a trick if the finesse loses uh i guess no i guess we still could have pitched a heart so maybe it was right there i think i might have skipped a trick here as in my effort to explain things i think we should have taken the uh the club finesse anyway because i always get a pitch in that so i either trade off or not so this was a this was a leak on my part i think uh because then we're at least uh we're, we're chopping action and uh here's what i mean folks when when we get to this point uh, I can't believe I did this. All right, so we draw three rounds of Trump. Boom, boom, boom. All right, here, here's the deal. When I play a club to my ace, I'm winning. And now if I play a low club towards the dummy um, and it goes low on my left, I should play the jack. Because here's the thing. If I if it loses, um, well, sorry. I guess if, if I rough it out properly and it's, it's losing, I've actually done better. So forget this. I, I took a line of play. <laughs> if I take the finesse here and it loses, I still get to pitch a heart. But if I could have roughed it out, I would be able to do this also. So whatever. I'm okay. I mean, in hindsight, I wish I'd taken the club finesse because it was on. Right? But here, I guess I've, I've taken some sort of line of play that... Uh, if that is is working and it was losing, I, I gain in that spot. So I'll take it. And honestly, think about it, folks. We opened a no trump on this one. I think we're just going to find spades, even if we open a spade, because it's going to go one spade, partner will bid Jacoby 2 no, and we'll be there, and it should be around the same stuff. All right, let's take a look at this one. Uh, okay, 8, 9, 12, 14. No five-card suit. Here's the difference between upgrading and not upgrading, folks. All right, one club, one heart to us. I'm in a bit of spade, folks. I'm not completely balanced, so I'm going to show my spades. If I were more balanced, I would have bid a no trump. And I'm going to be very happy to let partner play one no trump, which means I get to play it. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. We have a nice source of tricks and hearts. And we've gotten the worst possible lead. Good job, robots, to get off to a nice lead. Hopefully they get scared to return. Nope no fear in the robots so we're just holding up just to disrupt their communication right Ooh, and we love when we see this we'll take that we will definitely take that 
And now we get to use a little bit of transportation and we are going to plunk down the King of Hearts. Wow, amazing. So this is kind of fun stuff, watch this. We're gonna play the 10 of Hearts, pitch a spade. And now we're gonna play spades. Now they can end play us here. If they play a clear spades, they did not. Um, yes, we can do this. They only have one diamond left, so we can afford a pitch here if, if this is the worst case scenario. And there it is, we pitched losers in each hand and we have a winner in the other. Boom. So that was a nice way at the end there to kind of try to get the maximum, right? If if the person that wins that that trick didn't have the diamond, maybe we snake another trick in there at the end. So, so there, uh, we'll take it one no trump making two. Um, I think that is probably the maximum here at any point, uh, especially after the diamond lead. Uh, really nice stuff though. They, they start with two diamonds and then for some reason they don't clear diamonds. And I, I think just intuitively or just mechanically the robot just knows kind of the right thing to do in these situations. So here they kind of are understanding it's not gonna matter. They helped us out tremendously here though, right? They, they give us a free finesse, we'll take it. Even though that's the same finesse we would have taken, right? We would have played Ace of Hearts low to the dummy because it's kind of our only choice with only two in our hands. So we didn't really gain too much. The robot's just too sly for us. All right, uh, that is eight out of 10 boards in the books. And wow, look at this one. We're coming to this one tomorrow, folks, on board nine. Two boards left to go for the challenge. Don't forget, complete guides are out. And also at this point, um, the schedule for the fall should be out on the site. And I have a very exciting bridge camp uh, and bridge skills update in September coming up. So I'm excited to get that rolled out and I will see you either right back here tomorrow or in these other challenges or on bridgelessons.com for all those great lessons that are there. I'll see you soon folks.